Data visualization is actually really about communication, storytelling, and words. I'm John Van Murdoch. I'm the chief data reporter and a columnist at the Financial Times. I'm going to be talking through the, the broad principles, really, that guide what we do at the FT, why we do it, how we do it. The first chart that we made at the FT really showing the takeoff of COVID in the pandemic. I want to go through the steps between this chart and the one that we ended up publishing. Whenever, whenever we make a chart which looks like this, you know, it's technically sound, but what's my story? What am I meant to conclude from this? We should consider that the, we've only really begun working on this chart rather than finishing it. Where is, where is someone's attention going to move as they encounter this chart? They're going to start on the title, they're then going to move down, and they're then going to come across the actual plot area. When we're making charts, I think maybe I'm speaking too much to myself, but we focus an enormous amount on the actual plot, the, the colors, the shapes, um, the, the layout. We really should be aware when we're doing this that people's attention is nonetheless going to be drawn to a text first. So when I'm making that chart, I'm putting a lot of effort and time into getting that title right. And I'm putting a lot of effort as well into anything that I can do in terms of the design to naturally guide someone's attention through that chart. Maybe that's left to right, maybe it's top to bottom and so on. But these things are just, I think, seem very minor. They seem like just the last 2% of making a chart. But I think the, the, the research pretty consistently shows that in terms of the impact this has, on how a chart will be remembered, understood, and by whom, these are actually the most important things. So we've now got something which directly answered the question that everyone would have come to this chart with. That's the text, but the color. We're not using color well here. We need to do more to allow people to focus on the most important points. So color is this amazingly powerful tool that we have, but you need to use it in the knowledge that the key is color contrast rather than just color full stop. Color contrast in, is, is this really, really powerful tool that we can use when we're making charts to direct people's attention to the key parts without them having to do too much of that sort of cognitive work themselves. With each time we're making the matching between the data visualization and the message, the information, closer and closer and closer so that this fits together and that there is less and less head scratching required for someone who encounters this chart. So we've taken something, again, the fundamental geometry of this chart, the units on the x-axis, the y-axis, the choice to use a line chart in the first place, none of that has changed, but we've significantly improved this chart as a piece of communication by focusing on text, colour, labels, annotations, that kind of thing. So just to show that contrast there, the success of this data visualisation is, is markedly different from this version of the left to the version on the right. Again, there's nothing technically incorrect with the version of the left, but it is lacking all of that additional text-based um, elevation or expansion, which turns it into something that can suddenly speak to a much, much larger audience. So next time I make a chart, and hopefully next time you make a chart, think about not just making charts for chart people, but making stories for all people. 